Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to my last video, my first video. Today we're going to talk about Sephora's VIP sale. It always rolls around near my birthday, so I always splurge and treat myself. But this year, I wanted to show you guys everything that I got because a lot of you always ask me how I feel about different products that I've gotten and especially when I splurge during my VIB sale. I am a Rouge member, so I do get 20% off on all the items, which is kind of why I splurge a little bit more than I should. But it's a cool way for me to get a bunch of products that you guys have been asking me about and also things that I've been wanting to try that are very highly rated on Sephora's website. So when I was ordering a lot of the things that I purchased, I looked at kind of how many likes or loves if you've been on their website you've seen the little heart symbol that is next to a lot of their items so I looked at how many loves each item had the overall rating that it had and then I sorted it by best selling depending on the category or the brand if it's like a very narrow category of things and I looked at how high it was on the best selling list and also if it was on the top rated list overall on Sephora's website. I snagged a bunch of cool things. It was a little bit difficult to get some of the things that I wanted at first, so I was kind of bummed about that because when you're a Rouge member, you get first access to the sale. So a lot of these things selling out means that's pretty insane. And so when they got back in stock, I had to order it, of course, because they were things that were top on my list. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I got was a face cleanser. And as I had been researching different face washes over the last couple months, even year, there was a couple different ones that stuck out. I have tried some that I really liked, but there was one that has an insane amount of reviews that I just had to snag and see how I felt about. So I just got... The Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. So this is the limited edition. It is a jumbo size. It's like 6.7 fluid ounces. Definitely can't take this bad boy on the plane in my carry-on. Um, this is what it looks like. Simple pack packaging, but I love Fresh. I love their product. So I had to get this face wash and check it out. It has 183.6 K loves. 4.4 stars with 7,808 reviews, which is just crazy. It's the number one best-selling face wash on Sephora's website, and it's also the number one top rated. And some of the key ingredients that they talk about is amino acid, rich soy proteins, and they're supposed to help your skin maintain elasticity. And then the second is rose water. It's supposed to calm and balance your skin out. And then also they use cucumber extract, which also is supposed to soothe your skin. And then the last one that they talk about is barrage seed oil, and that's supposed to help nourish your skin. This face wash is supposed to be really good for getting your makeup off, um, but it's also really good for all different skin types. So I'm going to use this and I'll do a review on it later on. The second thing that I really, really wanted and had my eye on for a little while was, where did it go? The Biosance Squalane Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. Okay, this thing came out, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. And this whole line, the Biosance Squalane line has crazy reviews. People are raving about it, saying that their skin looks so much better from just using it um, just a few times. And so this I had my eye on and I really, really wanted to purchase this and try it out. It's kind of really cute packaging. Um, it's just like this little bottle, little bottle that you can squeeze out of. This bad boy here had 26,000 loves. 4.4 stars with 497 reviews and an 87% of the people that purchase this product would recommend it. So that's a pretty good amount, I would say. So I was like, I have to get this and see what it does for my skin and see if I can recommend it to you guys. This is the number two best-selling 
lactic acid serum. So that's the way I sorted this product. And some of the ingredients that they feature are vegan lactic acid, it's 10%, and that is supposed to really help exfoliate your skin. And then the second one is clover, that's supposed to enhance your skin renewal. And then squalene. Squalene, um, it's kind of been a little bit of a controversial thing because a lot of people are concerned that they are harvesting about Biosense is that they found a vegan way to get their squalane and so it is environmental friendly and it comes from plants so that's really exciting and um, it's apparently really helped a lot of people with their scars and pigmentation from acne so I have a lot of hyperpigmentation from acne so that's the main reason why I got this and I'm excited to try this one out and I know a lot of you have already asked me to let you know what I think of this product so definitely stay tuned on that one. I am a big fan of Drunk Elephant so their retinol cream I've used like prescription retinol creams in the past from like my dermatologist, but I always felt like it really dried my skin out and was super irritated anytime that I would try it. And it didn't really make a difference in the way that my skin looked. So it just wasn't worth it for me. And I never ever used prescription retinol long term. The cool thing about this is a lot of people have been using it and have been saying that their skin isn't irritated using it. This has a 122.4K loves. It's got 4.1 stars with 100, no, with 1,046 reviews. And it is the number one best-selling retinol. It has 1% um, retinol in it, and it's also vegan-based. So that retinol is supposed to improve your skin tone and kind of even out your skin tone and texture. It also has a triple peptide blend that's supposed to help um, like firm and strengthen your skin. And then it also has a vitamin F in it. And vitamin F is supposed to be um, like a soothing fatty acid that helps with your texture and the suppleness of your skin. And it's also supposed to calm any sensitivity that you're having, which is really unique because any of the prescription strength retinols that I've used has really irritated my skin. So I'm really interested to see if it actually minimizes irritation. And it also comes with the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum that you're supposed to use with it. I only have many versions of this, so we'll see how long this lasts and how it works with that retinol cream but this is another one that I am super excited for. Yeah, next thing that I wanted this was a new release it came out fairly close to the VIB sale um, I love glow recipe their watermelon sleeping mask is so good I just recently purchased their pineapple serum it's supposed to be really good for pigmentation too so I'm excited for that this is the watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner so we're gonna open this because I love packaging sometimes I will order things just for their packaging so I have to look at what it looks like inside That is so cute. So when you open it up, it says, hey, Glow Gang. It's adorable. Okay, so very sleek, cool looking bottle. Since it was brand new, didn't really have that many reviews. I mean, no one has really, at that time, hadn't really used it yet. So, and this was one of the products that was sold out, like completely sold out when I went to purchase it, which is crazy because I went and bought these things like maybe two days into the sale. So it was sold out. I had to wait till my second round of buys to order that one. And that one still being brand new had 32,900 loves and it had 4.9 out of five stars and 87 reviews but a hundred percent of the people said they would recommend it which is 
insane. So of course I have to try it out. This is the number four best selling toner and it is the number one top rated. It has watermelon extract, which is good for hydration and it delivers vitamins and essential amino acids to your skin. It's got cactus water, which is supposed to seal in the moisture and deliver electrolytes and it's like an antioxidant as well for your skin. And then PHA, which is polyhydroxy acid, that removes your dead skin cells. And then it has BHA, which is beta hydroxy acid. And this BHA is sourced from willow bark, sugarcane, birch, and royal azalea. So it's like a keratolytic BHA and it's supposed to break down keratin and any sebum that you have stuck in your pores and just kind of like just bring it all out and decongest everything which is really good for anyone that's really acne prone because most of the time your acne does come from those clogged pores and whatever stuck in there so for this to be able to kind of draw it all out is really amazing so i hope it really works that the way that they're saying that it should and hopefully helps with some of this adult acne that me and I know a lot of other people have going on. So. My number one pick for this VIB sale, let me tell you, I had my eye on this for the longest time and I told myself, if I don't get anything else, I have to get this product. And I went on and I added it to my cart and I was like, let me think about what else I want and then I'll order it. And I came back like a day later, sold out, not to be found anywhere. So I had to wait and thankfully it restocked before the sale ended so I could snag it. Peter Thomas Roth's Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment. This thing has got 16,700 loves, 4.6 stars and 186 reviews with 92% of the people recommending this product. It is the number three best-selling niacinamide product, and it is the number two top rated. So this is actually a pretty small bottle for the price. It's actually $88 full price. Apparently it works incredibly. People have been saying that their skin has completely transformed using this and like hyperpigmentation spots that they've had for years and years and years have started to lighten and almost disappear. So this is something that I really need in my life because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation that some of them are newer, some of them are older, and I just want something that I can use that will wipe it out because there's a lot of things out there, a lot of products that advertise being able to get rid of your spots and nothing has really quite worked. So this one I am hoping will do the trick. And I know a lot of you have asked me about this one as well. So I'll touch base with you guys after I've used it for a little while and see if it's actually making a difference. The highlighted ingredients in this product is a niacinamide, which is supposed to reduce the look of discoloration. And that's one of the ingredients that your products should have if you're trying to reduce acne or acne related like post effects. And then it also has tranexamic acid, which is supposed to reduce the look of dark patches on your skin. And then kojic acid is another one that is in a lot of acne fighting products as well. It's supposed to brighten your skin. So hopefully the three of those key ingredients together is what makes this the ultimate product for any discoloration and pigmentation that you have on your skin. Another thing that I have been incorporating into my skincare routine recently is sunscreen. I don't know why I didn't do it before. Since I have been reading so much about Biosense and how clean their products are and how great that their skincare line is, and especially this new squalane line that they have. So I got the Biosense Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. So we're gonna try this one out too. I've been needing a good sunscreen for a while, so I'm hoping that this one does the trick. And this one has 10,000 loves, 4.2, stars and 51 reviews this is a new release as well 
and 82% of the people that have it and used it have recommended this and it was the number seven best selling SPF sunscreen and the key ingredients are zinc oxide which is a barrier that's supposed to reflect UVA and UVB rays and then water lily which is supposed to cool and calm your skin and then the last one is last one is squalane which this whole squalane line has this ingredient that is derived from the plants and that is supposed to help with hydration so I do have pretty dry skin so I definitely need something that will boost my hydration and so we're gonna check this one out and see how well that works this company has been releasing a lot of different products that are relatively the same, but target different skin problems. And I have had some of you guys ask me what I think about them, and I haven't used them. So I wanted to check it out and see how I feel about them because I have been eyeing them for a while. The one that I wanted was sold out. It was for dark spots and acne. So I just got the microneedling dots for dark spots and it's by Peace Out. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but if you're on Sephora quite a bit, I'm sure you have. And this has 52,200 loves and 3.7 stars out of five. Not the greatest. I mean, I normally wouldn't really get anything that had less than four stars, but it's pretty close and it did have some good reviews. There was 1,515 total. So I did wanna see if this actually worked. Some of the key ingredients, again, niacinamide, that is supposed to even out your skin tone licorice extract which is also supposed to brighten your skin and then this one also has transexamic acid and that's supposed to lighten the appearance of dark spots so it kind of just opens up like that and then there's a little package and there's 12 dots on there and you're just supposed to put them on any of your dark spots and Hope that they fade. This was number two on my must-have list from the VIB sale. Herbivore is another skincare brand that I have had my eyes on for a long time. They have pretty natural products and they target many different problems. So I was looking for a mask and I wanted something to kind of calm my acne with all this COVID stuff going on and us having to wear masks at work every day, I have been breaking out like a hormonal teenager. So I saw the reviews on this and I had to snag it. 95,600 loves, 4.4 stars, and 1,394 reviews. Herbivore's Blue Tansy Mask sold out sold out so early on during the sale and I was completely bummed out but thankfully it returned and so when I did my second round of orders I had to add this in and get it number two best-selling herbivore product so I tried to kind of sort everything by mass but it was getting really out of hand and a little hard to figure out and comparing different masks that target different things didn't really seem like a fair way to see how this ranked. So I kind of just went based off of the brand for this one. Um, so number two best selling product from Herbivore. This also has BHA that comes from willow bark that's supposed to decongest your pores. And then AHA, which, is, which comes from um, fruit enzyme. And then blue tansy, which is supposed to exfoliate, smooth and reverse resurface your skin so this should be a very good mask for acne prone skin and if you just need some clarity or just to clean out your pores so this one i'm excited for and i will probably get a lot of use out of because my skin is just so irritated and upset when i get home from work and so this might be a mask that i use pretty often throughout the next couple months. 
I was able to snag myself a skincare fridge and so I wanted to get a bunch of sheet masks that I could stick in there and just use really quickly before I do my makeup or if I was in a rush just throw them on my face and get a quick little facial out of it. So I ordered a bunch of different sheet masks because I have been really loving them lately and they're super quick and just super convenient. So a whole bunch of different sheet masks were in this order. Um, I wanted to try out the bubble sheet and this one has 38,500 loves, 4.3 stars and 503 reviews. It is the number nine best selling sheet mask and key ingredients are charcoal and green tea teoxy. I don't really know what that is, so I will have to look into that one a little bit more. But this is supposed to be an oxygenating, like deep cleanse. This is a quick little, just put the sheet on and then you can take it off and rub and get all the bubbles and the same effect pretty much as the actual mask itself. So this, I guess, also can remove face makeup. So maybe we'll try it on tonight and see how that goes. I don't know. The other sheet mask I got was Saturday Skin Spotlight Brightening Mask. This is actually a five pack. You can get them in singles, but I figured why not just get the five pack and see how that goes. This has 22,900 loves, 4.5 stars, and 199 reviews with an 86% recommendation rate. Some of the key ingredients are Saccharomyces ferment, which is supposed to boost the skin's appearance and it kind of nurtures your skin. Bilberry extract, which is an antioxidant and also um, soothes the skin as well. Cha 7S complex, an exclusive peptide formula that promotes skin's natural regeneration process. There's five masks in here. They're all in little packages like this. So these are all going to go straight into my little fridge. And then I'll show you guys what I have in there and what I keep in there. Bilberry licorice and lotus extracts. Diminish the look of dark spots to uncover natural radiance. So that's what this is supposed to do. And hopefully, hopefully it holds on. Dr. Jart. Okay, so I got the Dermas Microjet Clearing Solution Mask. This one has 15,300 loves. We found it had 4.4 stars and 217 reviews. It has salicylic acid, which is in a lot of acne products as well. That one you've probably heard of if you use some sort of acne product or cleanser. Uh, tea tree oil and then niacinamide. And this is the number seven best selling sheet mask. A lot of the Dr. Jart sheet masks um, were actually very highly ranked in the list and um, this one is also and I think most of them are dermatologist tested so that's pretty cool. Pharmacy. Pharmacy is supposed to be another one of those clean brands that does a lot of skincare products and so I wanted to try this sheet mask out. It is the brightening coconut gel sheet mask and this has 15.5 3k loves oh no sorry 15.7k loves 4.3 stars and 150 reviews with an 83% recommendation rate number four best selling sheet mask it's got coconut water for moisture purple broccoli extract which is different I don't even know if I've ever seen purple broccoli but it might be fun to eat. The purple so. broccoli extract is supposed to help clarify your skin. And then this has plant-based collagen and that's supposed to firm and lift your skin, which is pretty cool because I have been looking for a collagen powder for a while and I've had people ask me about collagen powders and most of them are derived from animals. So it's kind of hard for people that are vegetarian or vegan. This one was brand new as well. New release, did sell out multiple times 
I was able to get it before it sold out the first time, but I know when I kept looking back and checking, it did sell out a couple different times. So I know this product is very hot right now and a lot of people are interested in using it and checking it out and really wondering if it works. So I had to snag this from one of my favorite makeup lines. Um, Huda Beauty has started her own skincare line called Wishful and they released a pineapple enzyme scrub maybe a couple of months ago and everyone has been raving about it. I have it. I use it. I love it. Um, and so they are releasing more skincare products, which is awesome because she is very into skincare and does a lot of research and has been putting out a lot of skincare videos, what products to use, a lot of DIYs as well. So I can only imagine the amount of research she has put into releasing her own skincare line. So I got two because I have to try one out and I have to make the hubby try one out too because I got double chin and it's kind of just, it's got to go. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. 3,900 loves with five stars, only nine reviews, but like I said, it was completely new. Just a new release, but 100% recommendation rate. And like I said, sold out multiple times. The key ingredients are niacinamide, again, to help tighten and reduce fine lines and discoloration, actually. Um, they have peptides, which are supposed to support the look of more youthful skin. And then one thing that I thought was really unique because I'm a nurse and so I know what adenosine is. We use it as a medication, especially in the NICU. Kick people out of SVT. And so when I saw that there was adenosine in here, I was so intrigued. I had to get it and really see how that works in a skincare product and it's supposed to basically provide your skin with the energy to kind of tighten everything and it also has a moisturizing effect so this product i am very 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 excited for and we'll have to give you guys a full review on this later so that's kind of all of my skincare things that i purchased from the vib sale and then i snagged a couple makeup so things. the first thing i actually got a sample of when i purchased something from sephora a little while back and i actually did really like it mark jacobs highliner i have been using this eyeliner a lot in my makeup looks i'm not actually wearing it today but I did in my previous post for my birthday glam that I posted on my Instagram so you guys can check that out on my page very cool packaging love the way this looks it's basically like a gel liner in pencil form 271,800 loves 4.4 stars with 7,065 reviews Wow. Wow. This was the number two best selling gel liner and a number three at top rated. When it came to eyeliner overall, it was the number four best selling and the number 10 top rated. So that's pretty good. If you guys follow me, you know I love Too Faced. I use a lot of Too Faced stuff. And so this little palette I've had my eye on forever. I love mattes for just an everyday look. I usually only do shimmery looks when I want to be glam or if I'm going somewhere special or just out to an event. Um, but for a daily, everyday kind of thing, I really love mattes. So when I saw that Too Faced had their Just Peachy Mattes palette out, I had to get myself one of these. And it's just an adorable little packaging. So cute. And I love peachy pinks nudes so these colors are just amazing and I can't wait to play with all of these 
So this palette had a 195,500 loves, 4.7 stars with 2,240 reviews, and 93% of its users recommended this product. It's the number four best-selling Too Faced eye palette um, and the number two top rated Too Faced palette. I have not personally tried out anything from Violet Voss yet. I've seen a lot of their palettes and they are very, very cool. And just, I love the way that their colors always look and their combinations and their palettes and stuff. So when I saw this one and how highly reviewed it was i figured that i should get it and finally try it out i really love the colors on it too so this is the violet voss um it's from their pro line the hg pro palette i'm sorry okay finally oh the actual palette looks just like the box does on the outside very cool very cool kind of holographic I feel like this would be such a pretty like fall palette. Look at the colors on that. So pretty. Oh, and the back says hashtag my holy grail. I wonder if that'll hold true. But this is really cool because it's got a really neat mix of shimmery and matte nude shadows and a little bit of pinks and red. Y'all remember way back when Everyone was like just getting on this hype about makeup palettes and Sephora and everyone was obsessed with Urban Decay and their Naked palettes. This one is a newer release, Naked Heat. It has a 192,400 loves, 4.7 stars with 1,846 reviews. It is the number five best-selling Urban Decay palette and the number one top rated. Now that I think about it, these colors are kind of similar to the Violet Voss in a way. I guess it'll be fun to see how they compare with each other and these are just really pretty, a good mix of shimmery and mattes. I feel like Urban Decay is like the OG. The last thing that I snagged, and I snagged this on the last day of the sale because it got released and it was like an early preview kind of release on Sephora. And so I had to grab it. And also I got it because this is my little birthday gift from Sephora. And everyone has been raving about the NARS orgasm blushes and stuff. So I got this little mini and it's kind of laughable how small it is. Like, let me show you. Like I, I opened this box and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Because like, how am I, how, how am I supposed to use this? It's super cute. Super, super cute. I mean, I love teeny tiny packaging. It's almost doll-like, but everyone had been raving about these blushes forever. And so I was like, all right, let me, you know, grab one full-sized one and see what the whole rave is about. But instead, NARS released this little orgasm line and this is like a blush trio. And so it was just too good to pass up and literally came out the day that the sale was ending. I, I don't really know what this is, but I feel like I might be able to like turn this into some sort of like contraption for my face mask at work. So I got this Trio Orgasm X Cheek Palette and the colors are just so pretty and it's nice to have three different shades in there. Really cute matte black and pink little packaging and the colors are just so divine look at that they're like shimmery could almost use them for highlight and blushes so really you can just mix match and do whatever you want with these but they're just so pretty this being a completely brand new release it had 2000 loves 
literally released on May 1st, so I hadn't really been reviewed. The NARS blushes in general are the number one best-selling blushes. So it was kind of cool to grab this palette and have three different shades to try out and play with as opposed to spending... I feel like it's like $30 for one. Stay tuned because I'll be using that one a lot. And that kind of concludes my haul. That's everything that I got. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, give me a subscribe and stay tuned for the future.